I hope you're all well. Um, this has been a requested video for quite a long time and one that I thought, well, I haven't really got enough items to do a video like this. But then I've kind of looked around and thought, okay, maybe I've got more than I thought I had. So this is my small leather goods video. Um, I think they call it an S. LG, SLGs, um, but I've got all sorts of stuff so I just thought I'd put it all together and then I'll show you my little collection, it's not that big, um, but it's interesting I think. So um, one of the first pieces I bought, and this is all, nearly all of it is bought pre-loved apart from a couple of my annual bits which were bought new but I'll tell you about them as we go along. So this is one of the first um, things I bought, this was bought pre-loved and this is a leather mulberry long lock purse, it has the little postman's lock on the front and you turn it and lift it up. I bought this pre-loved but it came with a receipt and everything and it was just like new really. That's the inside and then it's got all um, card compartments at the back, a zip compartment. It's a brilliant purse to use. The leather is so so soft on it, it's gorgeous and that's in a lovely deep glossy pink colour and that's that. And then I bought a smaller purse which is also mulberry and I think this is called the, I think it's the bow purse, I can't quite remember. Again, I bought this pre-loved, they've all been bought pre-loved. Um, this is the double one, I think, because it's got the little zip compartment at the back and then it has a little compartment at the front you lift up and then that opens up and there's a couple of card slots in it there and it says mulberry across there and again, the leather is so lovely on these, it just smells divine. When I've just got them out of the box, I thought, Ooh, I smell that leather. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, and then, as the time went on, I started to develop a bit of a thing for Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so I think this was the first one I bought. So this is the Dama Iban, um, and then it has the red, little red button, and then it's got the red inside it, and it's got compartment down there, and then more red, and then the two compartments there, and then it has a a zip pull and then it's got red, oh no it's not red, it's um, what do you call it, brown, <laughs> black in there. I just look because I didn't realise I've got some stuff in there, I'm thinking oh my god perhaps I was looking for those. <laughs> so that's it and then that has little um, card slots down the front, like so it's a Louis Vuitton logo just there. Then I think the next um, thing I bought was a red one. Um, I can never remember the name of this but it's gorgeous like patent red and it has quite a light shine sparkle to it, it's so pretty. It has the gold little stud button and then you open it up and again it has card slots in the front and then a bigger bit at the back with more card slots, another secret compartment just there which I always find useful for putting my lottery tickets and stuff. Um, and a zip bit in the middle and again it's lovely, I really like this, it feels so lovely. So that's my little Louis Vuitton one. Then I think the next thing I was lucky enough to get gifted by lovely Siobhan, um, she gifted me these, these little pouches which I probably would never have bought one of these because I probably would never have figured out what to use it for but I do use this all the time, I really really like it. Um, it has uh, just one big compartment, um, in there, just one big one, um, but you can fit so much in and they're just brilliant for putting your lipstick, calm spray, you know, all different bits of bobs and you can literally fill it up and just chuck it in your bag, it's brilliant, they're so, so useful, I love them. So there was that one and then the little Louis Vuitton trunks one, again I think this has got a lovely red line in, yeah, the trunks. Oh, look at that beautiful lining, so lovely, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I have Louis Vuitton engraved in there in the leather, and this one's also got a pattern on the front. And then they have little Louis Vuitton on the zip pull, and then you can unhook the little chain if you want to. And some of the bags do have little hooks inside them, so you can hook it onto your bag to keep it safe. Um, and they're just lovely and I love the noise of like when the chain hits the canvas. Can you hear that? I know some people love that. I do as well. It's really nice. It's just like a... I can't describe it. It's just lovely. <laughs> so that's my two little pochettes. And then I've got... What else have we got? I've got a little Louis Vuitton uh, key ring. Which has got the little car and stuff on it. And then the back of it is like a lovely bright 
fuchsia sort of pink colour, the Louis Vuitton logo on it. And again, I've never used this. I bought it and I was just so in love with it, but then I just packed it away. It's so silly, isn't it? I really, really, really need to use it. They feel amazing. They're really, really thick. They don't bend or anything. They rock hard. Um, and they're just lovely. Great addition to your bag. They're really nice. Obviously, it's got all the gold hardware and Liv Ton engraved in there. And oh, they're just lovely. Really nice. And then I've got a little Liv Ton agenda, which matches my purse in that gorgeous red colour. Lovely, lovely pop of colour. And it's just lovely. So, so nice. Red inside. There. And you can put a little pen in there. Um, I've got a little pen in that bit there, if you can see a little diamond on the top. It's so, so sweet. I, I don't use it that much, I really wanted to use it all the time. But I'm just so forgetful, I tend to just put notes on my calendar and on my worktop. So I really would like to get into the habit of putting, you know, using this. But I forget, and then if I go to a smaller bag and it doesn't fit in, then I have to leave it at home and I just... I love it so, so much and it just feels really, really lovely. It's like really soft and you can just tell it's lovely. It's really like luxurious, but I do forget to use it. So um, I would like to use it more. Gorgeous. I really like it. Um, then I've got my little Louis Vuitton six ring key holder, which um, has just got my mum's door key on it at the minute. <laughs> and that's got the lovely pale pink, I think it's ballet pink lining so pretty um and it, again they just feel so lovely it's like i can't describe it if you are a handbag nut like me you'll totally get it i just when you touch it it's just so nice and like when it makes the little noises like when the little keys jingle and i don't know it's just lovely and then the little popper <laughs> it's just so nice so that's my little uh, six ring uh key ring holder right then we'll go on to my quirkiness my sense of fun um i love anya hindmarsh i love her stuff because it's just so bonkers it's just so not classy it's just crazy um and there's probably only certain people that would use it some really posh ladies would be like oh my goodness wouldn't use that and i don't blame them it's all slightly a bit bonkers but uh, as you know i do like stuff that's a bit different it fascinates me <laughs> so i've got this anya hindmarsh I think it's called a clutch bag, um, but you wouldn't necessarily fit much in it, I don't think. Um, and it unzips, mm, like so. Um, and I've got stuffing in it to keep it nice. Um, I think it was a catwalk piece, so they're quite rare, I think. Um, it's got any hand wash inside the lid, and then all this is sort of really soft suede. But if you were using it as a clutch, you wouldn't fit much in it. You'd probably fit maybe your lipstick, maybe your bank card and stuff. So uh, when I have used it, I tend to use it as a bag charm and just clip it onto the side of my bag. Um, but I suppose if you were just going out for a quick drink, I don't get to go out much because obviously I've got two children and stuff and lots of dogs and cats and so I don't get to go out that much. But if I did, then yeah, you could use it as a clutch. It has got a wrist strap so you could hook it over your wrist and away you go. I took mine to parents' evening because I thought when I was going to school, I took it with me because it's a pencil. <laughs> So that's my little bag charm. Then I've got this, which I've never ever used. That's just so naughty. You shouldn't buy stuff if you're not going to use it. Um, but it says no loading at any time. I bought it when I bought my roadwork bag and I just had a total Anya Hindmarsh roadwork obsession. I just loved it. I kept watching the Anya Hindmarsh catwalk video where they come out from their uh, roadwork collection and I just love it I love watching it they have all like little roadwork men and if you haven't watched it you need to watch it it's really really good I love it I love the because they have all uh, workmen singing and stuff on it and it's really good in fact I'll try and remember to put the link down below and then you can watch it it's really good but you see all my bags and stuff on it they've got like the big roadwork bag and the speed camera bag and I just love it so I bought this at the same time so no loading at any time and it's um, it's all lined with suede, it smells lovely, the leather's really nice um, and it's got the Anya logo in there and it's just one big compartment so again you could use it like the Louis Vuitton pochette really and put your lipsticks and stuff in it and that's my little uh, pouch, it's got the little cute tassel under there which has still got tissue paper on it, never used it, that's so bad, I hate to do that. The next thing I've got is 
a little uh, Anya Hindmarch um, little bag charm keyring little purse. I think they call it a coin purse, but they are teeny tiny. I don't really think you'd get much in them. So it opens up, it's got like a corner zip, goes over the top. And then inside it's got the little Anya Hindmarch logo. But literally, what could you fit in there? About 10p? <laughs> you wouldn't fit much in there, would you? You definitely wouldn't really fit any notes in it or anything. So, And it's got the cute little tassel on it. So lovely. Um, but I, all I used it for was a bag charm because I just think it was cool. It really does look like the road signs in England. Give way. I just loved it. Brilliant. And then I also bought this, which on its own doesn't really look much. But when you actually hook it onto your bag, it is really effective. Um, they just sort of loop round the handle of your bag and I just think it's really effective um, especially if you've got a road work bag because obviously it's like a roundabout sort of sign and then in here is like a little gold key ring so you can put your keys and stuff on there but again I just bought this as a bag charm because I want some road worky stuff to brighten my bag up so and you can be a bit cheeky you can put it on different bags you don't have to have it on an annual bag you can put it on any bag really so that was my little uh, key charm thing then I've also got a little MCM I went to um, Bista Village or Bista Village whatever it's called um, and I went in the MCM shop and it's got lots of like MCM is quite a rucksacky sort of brand I think they have a lot of like rucksacks and stuff but I just saw this and it shone so, so, so much. I just couldn't resist. I absolutely love it. Um, it's leather um, and it's just, well, again, you can't really fit much in it. You'd perhaps fit your keys and stuff in it and maybe a little bit of cash. Um, but I just bought it as a bag charm. So I have used it on some of my bags before. Um, and it's got like a little loop I suppose you could actually probably fit it on your belt loop if you wanted to um if you've got a skinny belt um or you could even carry it right its top handle <laughs> but I just I purely bought it for the sparkle I absolutely love it I can't describe how much it shines when the sun hits it or you go somewhere with spotlights it's just oh it just fascinates me I could sit and look at it all day long I'm sure in a previous life I probably was a magpie <laughs> I just love it look I mean there's no sunlight much today there's no lights on in here so you can appreciate look how much it shines oh it's just so lovely so that was the only reason I bought that but I think MCM is quite an expensive make I did pay quite a bit for it um and it's got the logo engraved in there and then obviously it's got the MCM logo on the front so i love that so cute and then oh it's so much fun isn't it then the next thing i got was i did buy this when i bought my road work bag again um and that's my road cone bag charm by anya hind march um it weighs an absolute ton <laughs> it probably weighs as much as a bag um because obviously it's got so much leather on it each of these little tassels are rolled leather um and so each one obviously it adds up because there's so many uh, it does actually sort of you know get quite weighty but I love it my husband works with cars we met at a car garage though, where we used to work and so road like cars and road signs it's all sort of to do with me and my relationship with my hobby so when I saw Anya Heimarsh did all this road work stuff that's why I kind of fell in love with it so um, I just think that's brilliant. It is just a road cone. There's no other words to describe it. It's just fabulous. Um, and it's just purely just like a big giant tassel if you like. So you've got your leather bits underneath and then all the little leather tassels sit on the top. It's got a ring on the side and it's got the clip on the top. Um, I think it has the Anya, yeah, it's got Anya Hindmarch written, engraved in the gold on there. Um, and I just love it. It's really, really fun. When I put it on my road work bag, it just perfect companion to it. It's great. And then because I love Anya, my latest little additions are, which are really good fun, um, I bought this one, which I did buy from the Hackney outlet. And that's a shuttlecock. You know when you play badminton? Ping pong, ping pong. <laughs> so that's a little shuttlecock. And again, it's similar to the road cone. But it is um, smaller, you can see, quite a lot smaller. And it's not as heavy as the road cone. Um, it's a lot better weight, really. But I think they do a giant one of these as well. 
I've not seen one, but I'm sure the lady in the shop said they did a giant one, but she said it was really heavy. So that's uh, the little shuttlecock. And again, it's all pieces of leather with little leather tassels over the top. And then I've just got to show you this one. This is really funny because at the minute we've got tennis on um, at Wimbledon in England. So this is very apt for this time of year. But I've got a tennis ball. <laughs> Ta da! What do we think? It's my little tennis ball. It's so, so sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Um, it looks like a tennis ball in real life. You can really appreciate it because it's got the the white lines and the markings, and um, it is really fluffy. It's a bit fluffier than a real tennis ball, um, and obviously it's on a leather strip. And then it's got Anya Anya Hindmarsh engraved in the ring, and then it's got the little clip on the top. But because tennis is on at the minute, it was just so much fun. I just couldn't resist. I love fluffy stuff anyway. Um, I don't really play tennis, um, I don't really follow sport as such, but I loved it, it was just so much fun. So, and I just thought when they were together, you can appreciate the, a bit more that they are to do with sport, whereas when it was just on its own, it might just look like a pom-pom, but I thought when you put them together, you kind of realise that is a tennis ball and that is a shuttlecock. So that was it, that's so much fun isn't it, I love it. Oh, I've just remembered, I've got one more little accessory, let me just go and get it, I'm back. Uh, right, then I've got my little Lourdes charm, which I think any self-confessed bagaholic really needs one of these. I think most people have got them. If you're a handbag addict, you've probably got one of these. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Ladurie? I don't know. But that's how, that's what it is anyway. And they come in the most beautiful box. The packaging's just lovely. And I bought mine from Bag Mad Boutique, one of my favourite little outlets for pre-owned bags. Fabulous. And she got a lot, she's a lady, she's got a little dog with her and she's got the little Eiffel Tower and the little macaroon. So if you're a bag of holly and you haven't got one of these, you so need one. They're just lovely. So, so sweet. And they're not silly one either. So that was my little charm. And then I forgot, I've got one more little Louis Vuitton pochette, which is the Cerise collection one. And that matches my... A uh, little Cerise um, Louis Vuitton little cherry bag, which is one of my favourite little bags. Um, and actually, this is in really good condition. I've never really used it. I tend to store it with my bag, but um, by the time I faff about and swap stuff over, I never tend to use it. So it just sits with it, and obviously because it's got the little hook, you can hook it onto your bag. Um, it's really sweet. You just click it on like so, and that's it. That is my little uh, small leather good con collection. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like looking at all the little things that I've got. And I didn't really think I'd got that much. I know some people have got like stack loads. And um, I like accessories, but I tend to not necessarily always go for expensive ones. Because um, I do like Monsoon and Accessorise. And they have some really lovely stuff. And even some of the local little independent boutiques have lovely little leather goods sometimes. So... Um, really high end stuff I'm not really into I tend not to go down that route if I can help it so obviously I have got a few bits um, but these are just like my little naughty treats so I try not to buy too many because <laughs> you don't see them like you do bags like bags you actually hang on your arm and you see them whereas accessories tend to get thrown inside your bag so you don't really see them as much so I don't think I don't know I still love them but um, I prefer bags to accessories apart from the charms which hang off your bags um, but I could be here all day with all my bag charms, so I've got hundreds of pom-poms and key rings and stuff, and I just love them, they're just so much fun. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this, I hope you found it interesting. If you love handbags and accessories and other stuff, then please subscribe to my channel, and come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady, and I um, hope you have a lovely fluffy day, and I hope you've enjoyed all the lovely crazy things that I've shown you. So. Have a lovely day, whatever you're up to, and I shall speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye.